Of all the strange tales in the annals of the incredible, stories of curses are perhaps the most difficult to accept. Yet, there are on record many such accounts too well documented to ignore. Consider, for example, this eerie case of the skull of Bettiscombe. In the district of Dorsetshire stands an old home called Bettiscombe Manor. And there, you would find a box that contains the skull of a man. You would learn then that it has been more than 200 years since anyone has lifted the skull from its place in the metal box. It is the skull of Azariah, Pinney's slave. And the slave's spirit is not at rest. Nor will it ever be until his bones are returned to the land of his birth. Inquiring further, you would learn that Azariah Pinney joined in the Duke of Monmouth's rebellion in the year 1685. Azariah himself had been deported to the West Indies. When at last he returned to England, he brought with him the slave. But the damp air of the British Isles was not kind to the black man. And in time, he grew ill. I want to go back to my home, master. It's too late for that, man. You're dying. But my spirit will not rest, master. Not until I lie in my native earth. And so, the slave died. And he was buried at Bethesdale. Who it was who brought his skull back into the manor remains a mystery. But in time, it found its way into one of the downstairs rooms. Oh, how perfectly horrible. Whereupon, as Ripe and his wife lifted the skull from its resting place and carried it toward the door. And then, throughout the whole house, from attic to cellar, a howling began. Loud and continuous and appalling. But Mistress Penny was a courageous woman, and she proceeded to remove the skull. That night, as Azariah Penny climbed the stairs toward his bedroom, a board gave way beneath his feet. Oh, 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 I've found it. I've broken my leg. And the next morning, as he lay helpless in his bed, his wife reported to him... Oh, Azariah, that bolt of lightning last night, it, it struck the barn. We've lost more than half our stock. And a few days later... His wife brought more sorrowful news. Oh, I, I don't ever think it's going to stop raining, Azariah. The crops are ruined. Wife, have that skull brought back into the house. We'll see if it stops raining then. And so the skull stood in Bettiscombe Manor once more. No further disorders were reported. It stood for 12 years. And then, once again, Mistress Penny decided to be rid of it. On the morning after the skull was taken out, Azariah Pinney died. After that, it was brought in again and placed in this box. And there, doubtless, it will continue to remain. For who, however skeptical he may be, however certain that all this is mere legend and superstition, would dare to pick it up? The facts which support the legend have been carefully recorded, and there is little reason to doubt their accuracy. All of them indicate that the skull of the slave is possessed of a strange and supernormal power. A power incredible but true. Mm -hmm.